that time of the year again when the weather is changing flu is coming back and it's quite easy to fall sick so here is what to do when you fall sick in Australia the first thing first if you feel that your sickness or illness is not life-threatening then you should follow these steps the first thing to do is go to your overseas student health cover providers website and try to find out the local medical center to make an appointment with the doctor in Australia we call them GPs general practitioners GPs are usually first point of contact in Australia when you get sick and they can easily help you with the common things like flu, stomach pain, rashes or sprains. And after finding the medical center, the next thing is to make an appointment. We suggest you to call and make an appointment beforehand as the medical centers can be quite busy. And if you are just walking in, you may have to wait for a long time. And we also suggest you to arrive nice and early at the medical center as you may need to complete some paperwork for your registration. And make sure to bring your OS Etsy card alongside with your student card. And then you have to wait in the waiting area until doctor calls you up. And once you meet the doctor, they will assess your condition. And based on your condition, they may recommend you to take some medication and rest at home. Or they may suggest you to see a specialist. Or they may even send you to the hospital. After assessing your situation, usually doctor will write you a prescription that usually you would need to bring to your local pharmacy and buy medications from there. There are a few popular pharmacies you can buy your medications from, like Chemist Warehouse, iChemist, Priceline Pharmacy, Amkel, and there are many others as well. It's important to keep in mind that not all medical centers and pharmacies are open 24-7. So you may have to wait until the next day if the pharmacies and medical centers are not open yet. However, if the situation is life-threatening, then we suggest you to call 000 as soon as possible. Once you call 000, the operator will ask you what sort of service you need and you will tell them that you need ambulance. They may ask you a few more questions to clarify the situation and after a few minutes the ambulance will arrive. The ambulance staff will assess your situation. After assessing your situation, they will bring you to the emergency department of the local public hospital. When you are brought into the emergency department by an ambulance, the first point of contact for you there will be the nurse. The nurse will usually assess your situation and ask for your insurances as well and sort out the priority of your care soon after your arrival. If the situation is very critical, then the doctor will come and assess your situation right away. However, if it's not, then you may have to wait for a while until you see the doctor. Public hospitals in Australia can be quite busy, so you may have to wait patiently until your turn comes up. And once you get to see the doctor, he will start the treatment right away and provide you with the right medications and the treatment plan. In the meantime, you will be looked after by the nurses in the emergency department. And once your treatment is completed, you will be sent back home. One very important thing to keep in mind, before you decide to call 000 or go to the hospital, it is always a good idea to check with your overseas student health cover provider what things are covered and what things are not covered as you don't want to be paying a lot of out-of-pocket expenses after your treatment. If you're not sure about your situation and don't know what to do, then you can even call Health Direct. Health Direct is Australian government's initiative to provide free and trusted health advice and they are open 24-7. So these are the steps you need to take if you get sick in Australia. Hope you get well soon. Take care.